During the past few days, we have heard many interesting uh, water solutions during the Cairo Water Week. However, many of them will not be upscaled unless we get the proper mix of uh, laws and policies right. For a long time in our countries, especially within the Nile Basin, we have had uh, issues that the uh, food, land and water policies, they don't speak to each other. That's what we refer to in the policy world as policy incoherence. We have learned that uh, in the context of Egypt, there are already institutional mechanisms that allow ministries to speak to each other and that allow those policy objectives to trickle down to the farmer levels. And that's very good news. I think uh, in that regard, Egypt can become a leader in the region on giving us the way forward on how to go about policy coherence, both at the vertical and the horizontal level. I stressed the issue of having the calculation for economic cost of water. Because here in Egypt, we use the two do calculations in financial terms, not in economic terms. And this is misleading. And we would like to have the real cost of, I am not speaking about water pricing, I am speaking just on the economic cost of water. Because farmers don't pay the economic cost of water, they just pay the cost of fuel they put in the pump in order to get the water to the farm. We discussed today the innovating production system, innovation production system to increase productivity and to adapt to reduction in water resources and to, to make aquaculture more sustainable uh, for, for the future. We have the challenge of water resources. To meet this, we need to adopt best practice and to innovate aquaculture. One of the important aquaculture innovation we discussed today, technology called in-bond raceway. This is a climate smart aquaculture where we recycle water within the bond to increase production. This can increase yield per unit of water three times. This is quite important for the future. Also, we discussed the integrated agriculture, aquaculture, as this is quite important to, to adapt to reduction of water resource in new land and can produce fish in new land area. Uh, we just came from the session here. It's been, I think, a really nice emphasis on the economic efficiency of water use. So looking beyond kind of the, the technical efficiency and kind of the pure focus on uh, the hydrology side, to also look about how uh, water interacts with the food systems. Um, so one of the things that I talked about is uh, the fact that Egypt is very heavily uh, reliant on wheat imports. And the wheat imports can also be seen as a way in which Egypt is, is paying a fairly high price for importing uh, virtual water, the water that would otherwise have been used for uh, producing that wheat domestically. And so I think there was a, a great conversation about how to understand what is really the economic value of water and how that uh, uh, parameter can inform policy making.